first tonight, a radical plan has been unveiled to renew Yorkshire's ageing fleet of trains. It involves transferring unwanted London underground rolling stock to the north, but the trains are older than the ones that they'd be replacing. However, the company behind the idea says the underground carriages would be completely refurbished. Well, Harry has more details for us. Harry. I wonder, Nicola, what Boris Johnson would make of this. The trains we're talking about here are called D78s, and they were designed way back in 1978. Since then, they've been operating on the district line of the London Underground. A company called Viva Rail has bought enough of them to create 70 new trains for the north. And if they come to Yorkshire, they could run to places like Penistone, Harrogate, good old Scarborough, of course, and Bridlington. Well, our reporter, Spencer Stokes, has been given exclusive access to the factory where conversion work began this week. Could this be the future of rail travel on lines across Yorkshire? Underground trains designed in 1978 are now being kitted out for northern commuters. They were heading for scrap, but Viva Rail rescued them. Well, we've got here a train that we had delivered about a week ago from London, uh, so fresh that it's got week-old evening standards on the seat still. And of course, this train will be completely transformed before it comes to the north. Uh, and hopefully, this train will be serving passengers in the north some point next year, 2016. Up until a few days ago, the trains were running on the Underground's district line. Now, all traces of that former life are being removed. And Viva Rail are in talks with all three companies who are bidding to run the Northern Rail franchise from next year. There's no mistaking it, these trains definitely have a London underground feel about them with their maps and diagrams of the underground network on the wall. But they're getting a total refresh, the seats are already coming out, the floor is being removed, and the idea is that when they come to Yorkshire, passengers will have no idea that these used to run around London. We're keeping the basic body shell uh, which, to which will be added modern state-of-the-art traction braking equipment, engines and, and all the transmission. I think when passengers see these new trains, they'll think that these are just the sort of thing that they wish they'd had years ago. We can make these and we will make these feel like new trains. Not only like new trains, these will be the best new trains in the country. This is what they would replace, the unloved pacer, a bus body on a train chassis. But unions who dislike pacers aren't convinced underground trains are the solution. Why should the people in the north be disbenefited by inheriting 35-year-old rolling stock if they want a modern railway that delivers what it's supposed to do, let's see a level of investment, the same that's emulated in the south of the country. New trains cost £2 million a carriage. These would be a third cheaper. But after the refit, they look attractive. For the winner of the Northern franchise, it's an affordable way of reducing overcrowding, a very long way north of the district line. Well, let's talk a bit more about this now with Spencer. How likely is it to happen? Well, there is this dire shortage of carriages on the Northern Rail network at the moment, Nicola. Lots of people travelling home tonight will have been standing like sardines on congested trains. Northern Rail run a lot of those trains. Their franchise runs out in a, year a year's time. There are three bidders wanting to take over the running of the network. I understand that all three of those have been showing an interest in getting these underground trains, moving them up to the north of England. For them, it would be a quick, low-cost solution to boost capacity and reduce congestion on Yorkshire's trains. Surely, Spencer, new trains are better than ones that are 35 years old, even if they are being refurbished. Everybody would like to see shiny new trains, but as I said in the piece, they're extremely expensive, £2 million a carriage. Uh, London can get them because London's railways are funded differently. They simply get more funding in London than we do up here in Yorkshire. What these would be, Harry, is something of a stopgap measure. Lots of railways in the north, across Yorkshire, are going to be electrified over the next few years. When the wires are up, when electric trains are brought in, these underground trains could be retired. So they would fill that gap over five years or a decade. The Department of Transport say this afternoon that they're neutral on this idea, but they are putting pressure on the Northern franchise bidders to find some way of getting new carriages into the north of England. So what about my Oyster card? Can I use those? I don't think that's going to work in Yorkshire. <laughs> Spencer, thank you.